Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you again have been loving all the recipes that I'm doing for you. At the moment, I'm on a bit of like a snack roll and things that are super yummy and tasty. So I'm going to go ahead and make banana bread. This is something that I often make for my clients and that I also actually eat myself. As you know, I don't really love eating all my recipes because I cook them every day, but this is, this is a super handy and tasty one to have um, ready in the freezer, um, you can keep it in the fridge, whatever. This is just a really handy snack to have. Basically, I have pre-lined my uh, baking tin for the banana. So just sprayed it with a little bit of oil and press this in. The oven is set on 180 degrees and I have my bowl and my scales ready to go. What you're gonna do is ideally look for a banana that's begin, well, beginning to bruise. This one could be a little bit riper, but it's pretty perfect. We are going to weigh in the banana. So you would have seen all the ingredients previously. Um, you can play around with it if you need to. If you don't want to use gluten-free flour, you can use normal flour. Um, so banana in. Then you need to mash this with your fork. Cool, so the, you're weighing your banana once it's weighed. Put the scales aside and then just begin to mash the banana. If you ever have just leftover bananas that start to go brown, put them into the free, uh, freezer. So when you have to do this, you've got bananas ready to go and there's no reason for them to be wasted. You're gonna mash this really, really well into a smooth paste. All right, so once it is mashed, you can add your eggs. So two eggs, just crack them straight in. Anything wet, you're gonna add first. Um, and then you can just use your fork as well and just give it a bit of a whisk. Now with this recipe, depending on um, what type of protein you use and what type of flour you use, the water or the almond milk needs to be adjustable. That is why you didn't see the amount of water in the recipe because I think you should do that by eye. Um, so kind of just follow my lead with that. You just, it honestly depends on the type of protein. Um, this particular one is super, um, water absorbent so it does get a lot thicker as you go so you have your bananas and your eggs mashed in together now next we are going to add sugar-free maple syrup again the reason i do sugar-free maple syrup is to keep the calories down um, with it you're going to add four tablespoons of it So four of those, and then again, give it a mix. Um, now it's all mixed together, you can get rid of your fork and you're gonna move on to a whisk. All right, the next thing you are going to do is put your bowl back on the scales and grab your protein. Um, depending on how protein, <laughs> maple, interrupting the video. <laughs> So bowl back on the scales, now you can weigh in your protein. This is just vanilla. The reason I like vanilla is because I want it to taste more like banana rather than taste like the actual protein powder. You're just going to add 100 grams in to the bowl. The next step is adding your bicarb. So tar the scales again, clear them completely. You're going to add in 10 grams of baking powder, hold your sieve, tip the baking powder into it, and then that way you don't get any lumps and you can straight away measure it. Cool. 
So once you have the 10 grams in, put all of that aside and you can go in with the cinnamon. Um, go crazy, use as much as you want with the cinnamon. Um, it doesn't really matter. I really like it to be really, really cinnamony. And then lastly, you are going to weigh in the flour. You want to add in 200 grams of flour. Um, clear the scales again, and then in with your flour. Just slowly do this. There's no reason to make an extra bowl dirty. Just be very careful as you're going. Um, do it in a few stages so that way you don't add extra. The reason you sieve it is just to get any lumps out or anything that, you know, shouldn't really be in there. And then once that is weighed, you can begin to mix it. So I spoke about previously before with the water. Um, again, it just depends on your protein. Just mix it all together first before you begin adding water. You just want to slowly bring it together. Don't over whisk it. Um, when you over whisk it, that's when the bread becomes like quite gluteny. As you can see, I'm definitely going to need to add like half a cup of water. Um, the protein really sucks out the moisture. So just have the water ready to go, half a cup straight into the bowl, and then just begin to mix it again. It should come together like really, really fast. And you want it to become like a smooth texture. So always just tap it out the whisk. And if you need to add water, do it as needed. So that was just another quarter of a cup. So in total, in this recipe, we have added three fourths of a cup of water. So we're just gonna mix the mix into a smooth batter. You will see a few lumps in it. That's just the banana, don't worry about it. You have sieved it, so it's not pieces of flour. Um, now that is your mix ready to go, you can get ready to put it into your pre-lined container. So this is just, yeah, again, super yummy. It's like it seriously has taken five minutes to you know combine all the ingredients and then it's gonna take um, up to 25 minutes to cook. And it's really enjoyable for everyone. So that's gonna go into the oven on 180 degrees. Now, the oven initially starts at 180 degrees. Um, after it has in, like begin to, uh, begun to rise, um, our probably roughly 12 minutes, you are then going to turn the oven down to 160 degrees. This is where the center will bake and it won't be, uh, it won't go too brown on top, it won't overcook, it will just evenly cook throughout. So 10 minute timer, then you're gonna drop the oven down. So we have been on 180 degrees for a while now. What we're gonna do is turn it down to 160 degrees um, and that way the banana bread is going to evenly cook through the middle. So I'll show you what you're looking for. See how it's begin to color here? Basically, you want it to then just slowly cook through the middle. This so we've finished baking it. Um, I've let it cool now for probably about 15 minutes. With this particular banana bread, it is going to collapse slightly due to the protein powder, and there's not that much, well, there's no butter in it at all. So um, it doesn't stabilize as well. However, it is delicious. Um, all you can do for this now is cut it into slices. It's perfect for toasting for breakfast or for a snack. It's quite a dense banana bread. Um, but yeah, it's super yummy. Super easy and straightforward. Awesome to freeze and delicious.